the Market Maker Model Indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and apply it to the chart. Traders who want to understand how the indicator works can refer to this page. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and apply it to the chart by dragging the file. Just make sure to enable the Allow DLL Imports option in the Comment section and then click the Confirm button. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and apply it to the chart by dragging the file. Just make sure to enable the Allow DLL Imports option in the Comment section and then click the Confirm button. But before that, I will go to the settings in the input section. Just make sure to check the allow this query option in the comment section and then click the confirm option. But before that, went to the input section in the settings, adjusting settings as this indicator has many filters, issuing strong but challenging signals. For instance, it's signaled here. The indicator works by green areas representing FVG ranges on a higher time frame. Visible here, there is an FVG range for us, and as price returns, it draws it. The bearish FVG is displayed in red, while purple shows structural breaks or character changes. Here, a structural level broke down, then moved up, forming a bullish structure, FVG range is drawn, price returns to it, bearish FVG is red, purple indicators show structural breaks or character changes, structural level formed, broke down, moved up, indicating bullish structure, price moves up, retraces down, pullback forms, moves up again, finally, buy signal issued in settings. The break of the structural level, or the change of character, is shown to us here, where a structure has formed. This level has been broken, downwards, and then it has moved back up again, indicating that an upward structure has formed for us. After that, with the price moving, upwards and then retracing, downwards, it has created a pullback in this range, which then moved upwards again. Finally, in this section, it has issued a buy signal for us. In the settings, under the input section, there are options available where you can change the display settings. You can customize the theme or template of the indicator, which has three modes, dark theme, light theme, and auto. And then, as the price moved up and then back down, it formed a money market for us in this range, which then moved up and finally gave us a buy signal in this section, in the settings section. In the input section, there are options available for us, where, in the first part, you can change the display settings. You can adjust the theme or template of the indicator which has three modes, dark theme, light theme, and auto. By selecting the dark theme option, a dark template will be applied to the chart. By choosing the light theme option, a light template will be applied to the chart. The template on my chart is set to auto, which only changes the colors of the candles, with bullish candles turning bright green and bearish candles turning bright red. In the next section, you can change the general settings of the indicator. In the first part, you can set the number of candles for calculations and displaying the ranges. By default, it's set to 3,000 candles, but I've adjusted it to 5,000 candles here. In the next section, you can select second symbol for divergence. This indicator is based on divergence of two symbols. If divergence occurs between your chart and the selected symbol, it looks for a CISD. It's set to GBPUSD, but we're on EURUSD, where divergence is identified. A CISD forms and moves up. With a pullback to the FVG range, a signal is issued as the candle closes above this level. Here, it's set to the GBPUSD symbol, but we are on the EURUSD symbol, identifying a divergence, then, a CISD formed, moved up, finally, price returned to FVG, moved up, broke a level, then, a pullback to FVG, issued a signal with candle closing above, you can enable, disable higher time frame ranges, here, I disable that, set template to dark, click, confirm, you see my template changed to dark, higher time frame, FVG disabled, finally, price returned to FVG, went up, broke a level and with candle closing above a signal was generated and finally you can enable or disable the display of higher time frame ranges here i am disabling that option setting the template to dark theme and then clicking key confirm you can see that my template has changed to a dark color and the higher time frame fvg range has also been disabled for me this indicator Day sends very few signals due to the presence of many filters on the sample.
but when it sends a signal, it sends valid and reliable signals. As we see here, the price has moved upwards a lot and then continued to decline. Well, friends, we've reached the end of this indicator's tutorial. We're happy to hear your comments and suggestions in the comment section. We would be happy to hear your comments and suggestions in the comments section.